Hello ninjas! Dennis is here. In this module, we will practice finding and fixing performance issues in applications that suffer from inefficient computations. Let's start with saying a few words about what core bound category represents. Here is a microarchitecture block diagram of a typical CPU core. Highlighted part is out-of-order engine which executes all the instructions. You can find more detailed description of a CPU backend architecture in chapter 3 of my book. Generally speaking, core-bound metric represents all the stalls that happened inside the execution engine that were not caused by memory issues. Remember that if we execute load instruction and we miss in cache, this goes to memory bound category, not core bound. So what can be described as core bound issue? Well, mainly two categories. Shortage in hardware compute resources, which limits throughput, and dependencies between instructions, which increase latency. Shortage in hardware compute resources indicates that certain execution units are overloaded. It is also known as execution port contention. This can happen when a workload frequently performs lots of heavy instructions. On this diagram, I'm showing one such example. On a Skylake core, division and square root operations are served by the single divider unit, which are dispatched to port zero. Those two instructions can take considerably longer latencies than other instructions. If we have many of such instructions, they will queue up while waiting for their turn to be executed. And this will obviously not perform very well. So that was port contention. And the second type of problems in core bound category is dependencies between instructions, also known as dependency chains. The simplest example here could be traversing a linked list, also known as pointer chasing problem. If we set aside all the potential issues with memory accesses, and suppose that all the elements of our list are allocated close to each other, still it presents a dependency chain. We cannot load the element n until we load all the previous elements. It is a sequential algorithm by design, and the CPU cannot magically run it in parallel. Modern CPUs can issue dozens of memory operations in parallel, but not in this case. Sometimes, Given the problem similar to the one I just described, there is not much you can do with it. If your software must execute a lot of divisions, your best bet would be to simply upgrade the CPU to the one that has more dividers or maybe offload the computation to an accelerator. Data flow dependency chains are also not easy to solve either and may require significant rewrites of the algorithm. So instead, in this module, we will focus on such well-known optimizations like function inlining, vectorization, utilizing compiler intrinsics, and others. The goal for using those transformations is to reduce the total amount of executed instructions or replace them with a better assembly instructions. Technically, those optimizations do not always fall under core bound category, but I think it would be appropriate to classify them as such. Inefficient computations represent a significant portion of the bottlenecks in real-world applications. Modern compilers are very smart. Still, there is a chance that we can do better than what compilers can offer by forcing certain code transformations. In this module, we will practice doing that. All right, this is it for this video. And now I invite you to check out the lab assignments in the core bound section. I see you there.